wanted to talk to you about knowing your weapon, <sighs> knowing yourself. My God, you need to know yourself first of all. Can you pull the trigger? And under what circumstances you should pull the trigger? It's not always an easy call. And sometimes that split second decision not to could cost you your life or nearly miss engaging in a, uh, re actually engaging or nearly missing engaging in a life or death struggle. Guns do save lives. If in the heart of the right person, it's merely a tool. That's up to the person that uses it to create evil or wickedness. And I've probably pulled a gun on people. Hmm. Somewhere between a dozen and two dozen times over a dozen times or shot back at people a couple of t a couple of handful of times I've actually one time only one time and it all it takes is one time one time I hesitated is a woman that looked like she was pregnant and I was thinking about the baby she didn't give a shit excuse oh, okay don't write me she didn't give a shit and I hesitated the next thing I know she had the gun and I wouldn't let it go when I saw she was how crazy she was, uh, she had the gun and she was trying to make my finger was my. She was trying to fire the gun and and shoot it at me. I was holding the gun. She was whacked out on some kind of drugs. Uh, anyway, long story short, the gun did discharge. I purposely discharged it in a safe direction when it was pointed in a safe direction so it wouldn't accidentally go off and hit either or both of us well or the standard uh, standards by because it, when she was attacking me uh, I was trying to do everything to keep control of the gun and not lose control of that she's beating me beating the gun slapping my hand spitting biting you wouldn't believe it this girl was stoned and uh, all a whole bunch of standers by just stood in a circle around us and watched. Some of them were rooting for me and some of them were rooting for her. Uh, I was in a bad side of town. Anyway, I don't, without getting into a long story, uh, because one, mm, not too much, but one, she was a woman, but two, it appeared like she was in trouble and had a baby and needed some help and she started attacking me and anyway a long story short she tried to get a hold of my gun and we struggled anyway after firing in a safe direction I was like uh, if somebody knows I have a gun and they don't want to obey my commands and you know what I'm talking about when you're aggressive one thing or another coming at you and you command them to halt and they don't there's a point drawing in the line you've got to make your decision to fire or not fire risk your own life if you don't know what that line is don't cross it by even carrying uh, or even having a gun. Uh, if I had not known my gun as well as I have, I've shot many tens and tens and thousands of rounds through it. If I had not known it the way I had, and it's been off before as far as the sights is concerned, and I've kind of tapped them back into place or whatnot. But 
considering all things as they are today, the situation as it is, and a lot of other factors, I decided to have it professionally checked because uh, I can't have this problem keep going on. And as uh, some of you know, seeing my other video, I had my sights replaced today. Had I not known my gun as I do, it could have been me. A user error. Very easily. Now the other people I pulled my guns on, a good dozen of them, it ended right there. They peacefully went their way. I let them, I allowed them to go their way. Uh, the circumstances didn't warrant calling the police. Or the police wouldn't have been able to get to to me. I, and anyway, the long story of it is, uh, other than uh, when I've had a few times people have pointed guns at me, a couple of times where it went click when the gun pointed at me with the bullet in the chamber. That's how I knew God was protecting me. You know, and I grabbed the gun, turned it on them. Anyway, long story short is, I've had about three or four, one, two, three, three instances where people pulled a gun on me, maybe a couple of instances where people shot at me, or uh, the group of people that I was in, and we all returned fire. They didn't know we were all packing, uh, one thing or another. But for the most part, with those things aside, for the most part, well over a dozen, if not close to two dozen, instances happened where I prevented a crime or prevented somebody from getting hurt um, by having my handgun or having a shotgun or having a rifle. Now there's one instance where my neighbors were getting beat up by two guys, well there were three guys, but two guys were just beating the living daylights out of them. The other guy had a gun. I couldn't get to my gun in time and it was my neighbor that was in peril so I went out there with shorts and barefoot and I put an end to it. Uh, But just by the fact that I stood my ground, they were shaking in their, you know, right where they were standing. But what I'm saying is you got to know yourself. God's not going to protect you if you don't have the Holy Spirit of the Lord Christ Jesus in your life. Nothing, none of this is going to matter. You're going to be used, using your knowledge of man and your skills of man and your protection of man to get you through this. That alone won't get you through it. Having Jesus on your side doesn't guarantee that you will get through this unscathed or unharmed or, or alive. You might wind up dead. But you'll have peace, comfort, and security. And from what I've seen in the past, in my life, in the lives of others, when you are walking in Jesus, you're following His commands the best you can, and you're walking in Him and reading the Scriptures, asking for guidance and so on and so forth there is this divine protection that surrounds you it really is uh, I mean I've had bullets I mean I could feel them and felt the heat next to my ear right next to my neck the other neck right around me all around my head they had a scope and they were aiming at me I had an unsighted rifle. I started firing back. I was dinging him all around his feet, over his, every right all over him. He couldn't believe it, but he was so far away. It took me about three shots to calibrate the distance, but he was far distance away. Anyway, long story short, what he had the advantage. I was downhill. Anyway. I immediately prayed to Jesus and asked him to direct my aim and I was like leaning all over the place next to his feet everywhere. Maybe it was the Lord that didn't allow me to hit him. But I was dinging right next to him all over the place. He's picked up and fleed out of the area. But without me knowing my weapon, that rifle, 
uh, and it's just been pot luck just to do that. And I don't believe in luck. I mean, I've hit some birds at the top of a tree at oh, hundred and something yards. Yes. with a very strong crosswind because I knew my weapon. Um, if you don't know your weapon, I'm out of time, if you don't know your weapon, get to know it, burn some ammo, slowly if you can, get some guidance, get some instruction. If you think your gun might be off, get a second and third opinion. Get a gunsmith. Ask somebody next to you on the range to fire a few rounds or a magazine to see if it's you with a gun. If they get the exact same results that you're getting, it might be the gun. Anyway, I'm out of time. All I have to say is just know your guns.